Hello all my Libras out there, how are you guys doing? And that is basically what this reading is about for you. How are you really? So let's get into it. Let's burn some herbs before we begin to clear the space of any previous readings and energies that have been on this table. And then send, uh, send as always the good, amazing, positive vibes through to you guys out there. So let's get a Moonology card out. We're going to get two out. One is going to be is, like when people ask you, how are you doing? It's your outer world. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, then we going to go deeper into your inner world and see how you're really doing as usual get some advice out from spirit guides as well so let's get started how are you let's have a look new start is coming you just had a big shift or you're about to have a very big shift and i think you're aware of it um for some of you guys you may be delaying this a little bit but a new start is coming this could have just happened as well i kind of like feel like if it hasn't happened, you may be aware that something's about to change or you may be aware that something is unavoidable. So this is a new start with, it's like there's almost like, I feel like there's nothing you can sort of do about it, whatever this is. It may be something that you didn't want to happen as well, but it looks like something has taken place. So let's have a look and see. With regards to how you're doing, I mean, how are you doing? How's the world seeing you? How are you? Let's have a look and see. King of Wands energy. That's creative energy, a uh, bit of an out-of-the-box thinker as well, which I find quite interesting. Nine of Swords energy, so yeah, walking away from something without a doubt, but it is definitely worrying you. You're worried about your stability. That's the issue. I mean, change comes in. It's all good and good. Um, we shouldn't be afraid of change. But it, when we start to start thinking about long-term stability, this is what happens. We get the Nine of Swords, which is in the reverse position. We start worrying about what will occur with the stability in the future with the Knight of Pentacles. You know that you're walking away with the Seven of Swords being here from something here. But I kind of feel like you're looking back. As you can see in the card, it's like you, you're walking away. You've taken all yourself. This could have been a breakup as well but you're kind of looking back at what was almost like reluctantly i'm walking away but i'm kind of like remembering the past um it's just a funny thing i mean this is a, this is swords here it's not like it's two cups that we're looking at here it's swords and the thing is with with swords energy it's almost like you're looking back at something that wasn't really that good anyway. With the two swords being there, it's not exactly fluffy little puppy. You know what I mean? It's a sword. It's cold. It's hard. It's sharp. It's It can be hurtful. And um, you, even though it was all those things, there's almost an energy of you looking back at it. This I find very interesting with the King of Wands being here. I have to tell you something. I feel like this is a sign for you guys from your spirit guides because the king of wands energy like i said it's a very creative energy i feel like it does also require you to think out of the box to look beyond what you're currently seeing and there's an element of them even telling you that you're going to be just fine because of the energy of king of wands the energy that the king of wands can never get burned so the king of wands can walk on fire it's like a fire walker and you can walk through the fire without getting burned so it means whatever you're dealing with right now you can literally go through it and come out on the other side even stronger than what you were because this is a knight and this is a king even though you hold the fear right now with the knight of pentacles about the change that has happened because i I feel like this change was something that you couldn't avoid maybe something that you did not want and with the nine of swords actually being in the reverse position it even shows that some things were intentionally done to you that was not okay it was not fair with the king of wands as well um i do feel like you they asking you to get that inspiration get that passion back as well being the one's energy it is that fire vibe that's coming through there have that passion have the trust that you are going to go through and no matter what you pass through you will come out on the other side, but even stronger than what you were. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You got a new new moon there. You got a new start. And there's, I feel like there's nothing you can do to change it. But let's see on an energetic level, on a spiritual level, what will your spirit guides show you? Let's have a look and see. I saw a card. Let's see what this is. You need this. <laughs> you need this. You need this. I don't know what this has been for you, but I mean, look at the Nine of Swords energy. This is not a good vibe. This card is take time out to breathe. 
take time out, take time to breathe out, so literally disseminating moon. You know, I always feel like when I see this, this word disseminating, it always makes me think of dissection. You know what I mean? Even the word, the way it's said, it always reminds me of having to take things apart and look at it, if this card will stand, um, and sort of look at it from a different perspective, almost analyzing what has occurred and even going deeper into what has not yet occurred. Um, you need to work on some healing right now. I won't be surprised if we get some cards out here that talk about healing, that talk about recovering from that energy here. And, um, you know, funny thing here, I also feel like we are dealing with another person's energy. I kind of pick up on another person's energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is the one that sort of caused a lot of pain here. There's one specific person. Um, this Knight of Pentacles... I feel like they do this, so be aware that they do this. It's not just towards you. I feel like this can be towards other people as well. Um, one of the funny things that comes up here, almost like this Knight of Pentacles uh, makes quite a bit of enemies as they go along through life. So I feel like it's not just your, en your energy as well. I feel like it's something that they're going to repeat. So if they had to come back to you, you have to be careful um, especially if this is a relationship that I'm talking about now. Even if it's a family member, you have to be careful that they don't keep on repeating same cycles and end up hurting you in this way. So let's see what your spirit guides will say to you. There's your five of swords. That's what I was just saying. That's what I was just saying. The conflict will be there. You've got a page of cups energy. There you go. And you've got, let's have a look and see. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this energy still shows me that you're thinking a bit about the past. You're thinking about where you've come from. Um, there's a torn energy here, I feel, inside of you. If, especially if this is a relationship. With the Six of Cups, I felt this energy coming from the Seven of Cups over there. Almost like you're kind of still looking at the past, wondering... Oh, you know, could I have changed something? Could I have done something different? I feel like you're reluctantly moving into this new beginning. Um, half of you... The thing is you're torn. I feel like you're moving into a new beginning, but you're torn as you're moving into it. Because of the Six of Cups being here, you're thinking about the past, even romanticizing it. And then half of you goes, I, I miss what was. I miss this energy. I miss this page of cups. I miss being with this person or being in a relationship, not, not, not necessarily a person. And at the other side of it as well, you're seeing the Five of Swords energy here. You're seeing what the negativity was, what the bad things were. And I feel like you're so torn here as well. But I got to tell you, um, I honestly feel that this new beginning is coming. Because the time to breathe out is here. You're going to have this break to kind of like, that's the energy of needing to disseminate. You know what I mean? Take it all apart. Break it down. Look at the deeper levels right now. This energy of remembering the good things, feeling the safety, feeling the stability. And then at the same time, remembering the bad things. And really, it's almost like having a cold, hard look at the facts here. And I do feel like as time goes on, you are going to heal from the situation. I have to be totally honest with you. Um, I love you guys out there, Libra, but I don't feel like there's any going back here. If you do, it's going to repeat the cycle. It's going to be negative. Let's have a look at that. The Sacred Oracle, the Sacred Traveler Oracle comes up and look what it says. Simplify your life. Travel lightly, guys. I do feel like you are going to be moving on from this. Um, it, they like literally, and that's really interesting. This is the, the complication. This is all the things that's going on here. This is the back and forth energy. This is the not being sure. This is the knowing you need to move forward. Knowing that it was painful with the nine of swords. And at the same time, looking back still. And they're literally going, you may have to like literally release what you carry. You have to make it simple. It's got to be something. And it's, I almost feel like there's this energy coming through that's going let's not go too emotional that's the kind of vibe i'm getting it's a very out of the box thinker here with the knight of king of the knight the king of wands energy that's what you need to know all the wands energy are extremely creative so they mean thinking out of the box as well and um i just actually i remember seeing something on instagram and some guy um actually said if somebody if there are people in your life that are not actually making you completely absolutely deliriously happy then they should not be in your life and i kind of feel like this is the energy that's coming through for you you need to make it simple you need to look and say um 
was I happy in the past three months? And if it's a no, then three months is too long. You know what I mean? Because three months becomes three years. And it may have already happened that way. And you have to make it very simple. Is this making me grow? Yes or no? Is this, am I happy with it? Yes or no? Um, am I safe there? Yes or no? Am I stable there? Yes or no? And if the answers are no, then you need to make it very simple and know that you need to go look for those things even on your own because somebody is walking away alone. But I'm finding it very interesting if you actually have a look at the card. They're carrying this like little banjo on their back and you know music is this creative energy. It's also something that makes you feel happy as well. And it's almost like the only thing I'm taking is what makes me happy into the future. That is so beautiful, guys. Otherwise, I am wishing you guys all the best moving forward. I'm sending you my light and love. These were your messages from your spirit guides. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.